Hi everybody, welcome to Cooking for One. My name is Johnny C. And tonight I'm going to have baked flounder. As you can see I have the flounder, individually wrapped packages. I have one egg, and I have breadcrumbs, and the frying, the baking pan, which I will put into my, my toaster oven, which is the best thing I think since sliced bread. It has a timer. You set the temperature. I'll be cooking this at 350 degrees for eh, 15 minutes or less. So first I'll uh, open the packages. Then I will coat both sides of the fish in the egg coating. And then I'll bread it. And then I'll put it on the pan. As you can see I added little bit of olive oil and spread it around the cooking surface. Alrighty, there's the breaded flounder which I'm going to bake in the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 minutes. Fish cooks very fast, it's, especially this is sliced very thin so it doesn't take long to cook. I'm going to keep it healthy tonight I have my fish and a sweet potato and frozen peas. Again, uh, the sweet potato, I put it in a baggie with uh, about a half ounce of water and fold it over, poke a couple holes into it. Inside the bag, it, it'll steam itself, but a few holes in there to let out the, uh, the extra steam. You don't want it to explode. And the frozen vegetable. They're my favorites. They're quick and easy. I uh, Tonight I'm having frozen peas. I add one ounce of water and then I get a paper towel, fold it in, in, in half and a quarter, put on top. That does two things. It keeps it from boiling over and it keeps the heat in. So that'll cook in three minutes. And that pretty much goes for all the frozen vegetables. Three minutes on high in the microwave. Sweet potato, two minutes on each side. And that's it. Quick, easy, fast, and the cleanup is simple. Um, as you can see, the fish is cooking on the uh, foil tray. I'll eat it right off the foil tray. Um, and then I'll have a bowl and a fork to clean up when I'm finished. Alright, so we'll let the, uh, the fish cook for another 10 minutes and then in about 5 minutes I'll cook the baked potato first and then I'll cook the peas. There you go folks, have your baked flounder, sweet potato, frozen peas with a little butter on top and a glass of water. Looks good. Okay, I hope you enjoy your dinner like I'm going to enjoy mine. I'll see you next time on Cooking for One. Bon Appetit.